Hey everybody, it's Ken with KG's Books. So I just got back from John K. King Books in Detroit. Uh, it was quite the experience. It's about an eight and a half hour drive uh, out there. So I made a little mini vacation out of it slash book buying trip. Um, it's a massive, massive four story building. And then he also has a rare book room. So most of the books I bought for the rare book room and I'm very excited to show them off. Very, very incredible stuff here. All right, up first we got a Sir Walter Scott Red Gauntlet two volume set. Little slip cases. Pull these out because obviously you need to see the bindings. Beautiful, beautiful bindings on these. Absolutely incredible. Near fine condition. Really, really nice. Open them up for you. Uh, this is part of the Waverly Novel series by Sir Walter Scott Red Gauntlet in two volumes, published in 1902. I don't remember if these bindings were signed. I assume they are, but I'm not seeing the binders mark right now. But at any rate, really, really incredible bindings. Very excited about that set. Uh, up next, we got the Encyclopedia of Health and Home. Uh, that one I'm probably gonna auction off on eBay. Nice, thick, home medical book. Um, you can check out their website, John King. What is it? John King Books Detroit.com. Oh, also, I got a free t-shirt. So thank you very much to the staff for that. I appreciate the free t-shirt. Uh, uh, next, another. I mean, uh, over in the rare book building, um, they have some of the most incredible leather bindings. Uh, really nice condition and also um, prices were fairly reasonable I thought uh, a Charles Lever book probably not the most exciting author or title Davenport Dunn a man of our day by Charles Le uh, Lever published in 1859 let's see that is a Zanesdorf binding there's the mark right there and again nice silk end papers um, and again, the prices were pretty darn reasonable. Uh, California, romantic and beautiful. Uh, they have tons of leather bindings and also quite a few cloth fine bindings like this one. I think this one's 1902. Nope, later. Uh, California, romantic and beautiful by George Wharton James. Published in 1916. Again, really nicely illustrated and a beautiful Art Nouveau binding on that one. Let's see. We got some Marcus Jokey uh, in these matching leather bindings, but check it out. That one's a little shorter. Um, I think I got six of those. They were cheap, so I bought them. Odes of Anna Creon. Again, really pretty binding on that one. Kind of arts and crafts style binding on this one. Uh, it was part of a series, the uh, Beveri series. Beveri? However you say that word. Odes of Anna Creon um, and other selections from Greek anthology. Uh, you can find these books. I, I didn't, I wasn't able to find any leather ones online. Um, and again, I love the, uh, borders on all the texts of these and a stunning binding on that one uh, let's see we got Lake Ontario by Arthur Pound again this is a common book but a really nice leather binding uh, Lake Ontario by Arthur Pound part of the American Lake series uh, first edition, copyright 1945. Again, nicely illustrated and a really pretty binding on that one. All right, last one in this box. Storm Over the Land by Carl Sandburg. Again, not an overly uh, special book except for the binding. I mean, the binding is absolutely stunning. 
don't know. I'm sure this one is signed. Can't quite make out the, the binder mark there. A Storm Over the Land, a profile of the Civil War, taken mainly from Abraham Lincoln, The War Years by Carl Sandburg. Uh, it's the first edition, 1942. And again, just a really nice full leather binding, really high quality. All right, well, there you go, box number one. Yes, it was a very uh, expensive trip. All right, we got a nice three-volume set of Our Country by Benson Lawson, I believe. Let's see, volume one, two, three. Uh, really nice three-volume set, really nice clean condition. Look at the gilded edges, shine. Uh, we have Hamilton's Fairy Tales from 1849. Again, a nice leather binding. A little, uh, little bit of wear to the cover, but not too bad. Let's see if that one's signed. Yep, that one was uh, bound by Root and Son. Right there. Not sure if you can make that out, but the binding is signed. Uh, fairy Tales and Romance, written by Count Anthony Hamilton, translated from the French by M. Lewis. H.T. Ride and C. Kenny, uh, published in 1849. Let's see. The History of the Mayflower, The Ram, The Four Fecardins, Zenaidia, and The History of the Mayflower. Ooh, this one, I'm very, very, this binding is absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, I'm going to show you volume one first, I think. How amazing is this leather binding? Uh, the Lives of the Sheridans in two volumes. And it is extra illustrated. I think there was like an extra 100, uh, maybe 120 illustrations in these two volumes. Um, let's see. Uh, and that one is bound by Bam Bantam. Uh, the Lives of the Sheridans by Percy Fitzgerald in two volumes, published in 1886. Try to show you a few of the illustrations. Want to keep the handling of these books to the minimum, to a minimum, just because they are so nice and clean and perfect. I mean, absolutely incredible. I love these bindings. Um, these might be for sale at some point. Definitely not going to be cheap. It's going to be so hard for me to sell these. Yeah, those are incredible. I was very excited about those. As soon as I saw them, I knew I had to buy them. Though it does somewhat depend on price. They weren't cheap, but I think they were good value. All right, the heart of the world. Uh, this one's pretty common, but it's an exceptionally nice, clean copy. So I figured I'd buy it. Uh, the Heart of the World, or Home and Its Wide Works by G.S. Weaver, published in 1883. And looks like it's illustrated. But a really beautiful full leather copy. That, that one's not too rare, but I think to find it without the cover hinges splitting at all uh, is kind of tough. We got Cicero, again, in a really, really nice full leather binding. I mean, these books are just so darn nice. Uh, that one is um, bound by Zanesdorf. Uh, Cicero, published in 1902. My son, Marcus, although as you have for a year been studying under... Cratopus, and that too at Athens, you ought to be well furnished with the rules and principles of philosophy. Huh, I've never heard of um, Cratopus. And again, just a really, really nice full leather binding in, I mean, near fine condition. 
I don't usually use that word near fine, um, but that one's definitely near fine. A uh, little book on infidelity. This one was cheap, so I figured I'd auction off on eBay. The Cause and Cure of Infidelity, including a notice of the author's unbelief and the means of his rescue by Reverend David Nelson. Um, bah, 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 1841. Just a cool old religious book. Uh, up next, what do we got? We got The Secret History of the Cabinet of Bonaparte. And again, just an absolutely spectacular binding. Really, really nice and clean condition. Uh, let's see if this one is signed. Yep, um, looks like it was uh, Morel was the binder on that one. Uh, the Secret History of the Cabinet of Bonaparte, including his private life, character, domestic administration, and his conduct to foreign powers by Louis Goldsmith. Looks like a 6th edition, 1811. And again, just a really, really nice, clean book. Oh, I should give you a heads up. There's definitely an Alice in Wonderland coming up and a forage painting. And I forget what else. The Arabian Nights by Andrew Lang. Here we go. This is the forage painting. So when it's closed, you can't see anything. Actually, I'll show the title page. So um, they bound the original cloth inside the front cover. That's the original uh, cloth front cover. Um, I assume the book wasn't in the nicest condition, so they rebound it and put a forage painting on it. The Arabian Nights Entertainments, selected and edited by Andrew Lang, 1898. This one, I'm sure, is nicely illustrated, and I will show you the forage painting on here. Let's see. Got the gentleman there. Some sort of griffin or large mythical bird being fought off. Uh, really nice, beautiful forage painting. Um, maybe not the highest of quality because you can see the paint kind of bled in the edges. Not, not a huge deal, I don't think at all. Um, but I think if it was a tiny bit higher quality forage painting, it wouldn't have bled in like that, but still great picture, great leather binding, really nice book, great title. And that one was very reasonably priced. All right, here's the Alice in Wonderland. Uh, not a super old copy, but the nice, beautiful binding on it. Uh, really nice condition. Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. I'm guessing that's a paint and binding. Very typical. Yep, painting Revere. Uh, and this one was published in uh, 1959. So not a super old copy, but a beautiful. Got the hair on the front. And is that the Red Queen? Really, really nice Alice. And again, check out uh, johnkingbooksdetroit.com, or I'm sure you can find them on AVE Books as well. Uh, this is just a really nice Shakespeare and a really nice clean leather uh, binding. Probably not the most special book if it didn't have the binding, but let's see. That one was also bound by Revere and Son. The Complete Works of William Shakespeare, published in 1919. And again, just a really nice clean leather binding on that one. What do we got? Oh, the Three Musketeers. Let's see if there's a binding. Yep, that one was bound by Revere and Son as well. The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas, uh, illustrated by Roland Wheelwright. Looks like we got some color plates in this one. Not super old. Uh, I don't see a date, but I would guess maybe 1940s, 1950s. Let's see, there's another color plate, I think. There you go. But what a nice clean leather binding. Should probably stop saying that. They're all nice clean leather bindings. Uh, oh, I love this set. Holy buckets, I'm excited to show you this one. See if I can get them in order. Okay, Mythology and Fables. Again, nice leather binding. Show you volume one of this set. Uh, Mythology and Fables of the Ancients, explained from history by the Abbey Barnier. 
uh, in four volumes, published in 1739. Yep, 1739 are all of them. Uh, this is volume one is 1739. The other three volumes are 1740. So again, 1739 to 1740, set on uh, mythology, the progeny of the gods. As there is nothing more obscure is fabulous history than what concerns the children of the gods, tis proper that this point be well cleared up. Herodotus distinguished the gods, as we have said, into three classes. There were eight in the first, twelve in the second, and those of the third, were the offspring of the others as Bacchus, etc. According to the distinction, tis plain that all those are to be looked upon as the progeny of the gods, who were neither of the first nor second class, but tis like wife certain that they call by that name. Very cool. Mid 1700s set on mythology. Let's see. Oh, here's uh, Lake Ontario by Ar um, yeah, by Arthur Pound. And last one for this box, we have Paul and Virginia. So this one's uh, folio. It's a big bugger. Uh, looks like it's limited edition number four ninety eight of bump bump eight hundred copies printed. Uh, Paul in Virginia by Bardeen de Saint Pierre. Illustrations by Maurice Lelour, 1880. Looks like it is very nicely illustrated. And again, a nice big leather binding. I was uh, very happy with the prices. There was a few books that I would have uh, liked to buy, but the prices were just a smidge too high um, for me to buy. Actually, there's a lot of stuff I would have really liked to uh, buy, but I had a had a budget, and it was a very expensive day to begin with. So. But I'm very excited for everything that I bought. I really love the forage painting; that one's great, and the Alice in Wonderland, and the Cicero, all of them. All right, last box. These actually came out of the main part of the store, I believe. Um, So maybe not quite as fancy as the other stuff. Uh, Recollections on the rise and the fall of ancient republic republics ad adapted to the present time of Great Britain, published in 1806 in Philadelphia. That's pretty cool. Uh, what do we got? We got a dictionary of the Bible. And again, this building is huge. Four stories. They have their biography section broken into like... I don't know, five or six rows of shelves. So they have, I don't know how many tens of thousands of biographies and uh, anything you could ever want. They have a huge section on hunting and fishing, outdoors, animals, uh, psychology, medicine, literature and fiction, uh, sci-fi. They had a big sci-fi and mystery section. Um, I mean, anything you could ever want. Dictionary of the Bible, edited by William Smith, published in 1917. Uh, I did get a bunch of Tarzan, Tarzan's Quest by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Ooh. Um, and then I did also get a bunch of the Landmark series as well. California Gold Rush, Louisiana Purchase, Lewis and Clark Expedition. Da, 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 da. Uh, the Pony Express, the Santa Fe Trail. Uh, if you want to stick around a little bit, I'll give you a tour of some of the different sections of the store as well. The Pirate Lafitte and the Battle of New Orleans, Kit Carson and the Wild Frontier, Wyatt Earp, Wild Bill Hickok, uh, last, um, The Last Essays of Elia, that one's just a decorative binding, Pocahontas and Captain John Smith, The Eternal Lover by Burroughs. Uh, some of these are, most of them are really nice and clean under the dust jacket. And actually, um, check out John K. King Books Detroit.com. Um, he has a really, really, really incredible lineup of uh, first edition 
Edgar Rice Burroughs as well. That is definitely worth checking out. The Chimes from a Chester's Bells. A uh, nice two-volume set of The Last Days of Pompeii. Uh, again, this stuff was all very, very reasonably priced. Uh, a nice Victorian Sir Walter Scott. Victorian fine binding. Love those. Uh, we got Tarzan the Terrible. Again, with some nice, nice dust jackets. The Cave Girl. Tarzan and the Jewels of Opar. The War Chief by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Uh, Pelicidar. Not 100% sure how you say that one. Uh, Jungle Tales of Tarzan. Again with the dust jackets. I'm so excited for these dust jackets. Uh, the Son of Tarzan and Tarzan and the City of Gold. Again, these all came from John K. King Books in Detroit. Uh, it was definitely a hike. I think um, I stopped in Battle Creek, Michigan the first night. I think it was about a seven-hour drive there. And then I stopped at a couple bookstores in Ann Arbor, which was another hour. And then Detroit was another hour. So, um, especially with bathroom breaks and having to get gas and stuff. Um, it was quite the trip. Excited to be home. Excited to show off all these books. Um, and again, go support John K. King Books Detroit.com. Um, I think they have a massive inventory online as well. That is definitely worth checking out. So stay tuned. I'll show you a little tour of their bookstore. All right, we made it downtown Detroit. We're here. John K. King Books. I'm excited about this. All right, today I am in downtown Detroit. I'm taking a little vacation and doing some book shopping. So... The main attraction is John K. King Books in downtown Detroit. Massive, massive four-story building. I've never been here before, but I've wanted to come to this store for many years, and I finally made the trip. It's about a nine-hour drive from Marshfield, so uh, definitely a road trip. But if you're in Detroit or in Michigan, it's a little closer. So uh, yeah, I'll definitely probably give you a tour and show you some of the stuff I buy, hopefully. I would assume I'll find something worth buying. Wow, there is just row after row of sets. What do we got? We got Thackeray, we got Robert Louis Stevenson, Anatole France, James Whitcomb Riley. Everything you could ever want. Longfellow, Lowell, Holmes. Mystery of England, I got scrapbooks. History of Rome, Prescott. Oh, John Fisk. I'm always looking for John Fisk. There's some more Thackeray. Some more Robert Louis Stevenson, Trollope, Sir Walter Scott, Hawthorne. More Hawthorne, Macaulay. Oh, there's Shakespeare, more Holmes, oh, there's a nice set, I like that one. There's a bunch of great Michigan books.
There's just room after room after room after room. Fuller Society and Heritage Press. There's Eastern Press up here. All right, up the stairs we go. I did find a nice Sir Walter Scott. Victorian fine binding down there. So heading on up. Four stories, isn't that crazy? And they're, I mean, just pretty insane amounts of books. found a great little stash of Edgar Rice Burroughs. I'm definitely gonna have to spend some time picking through these quick. Lots of nice dust jackets too. I found a nice little stash of landmark books. I uh, already picked out a few. Santa Fe, Pony Express, Lewis and Clark Expedition, Louisiana Purchase, and the California Gold Rush. Let's see. That might be a good one. Oh, Wild Bill, another Pony Express. Sam Houston, Kit Carson. Oh, Wyatt Earp. There's another Lewis and Clark expedition. What do you think? Maybe on that one. Oh, we got Pocahontas, Ethan Allen. Yep, on that one. Stonewall Jackson's looking a little rough, but I think I'll take that little pile. All right, check this out. We got U.S. history, U.S. history, more U.S. history, uh, more U.S. history. I think we're getting into uh, medieval and ancient history, archaeology stuff here. Uh, early exploration and colonial history. Early Ireland.
Oh, let's check out the medical aisle. See what we can find down here. Eradicating the plague from San Francisco. Bacteriological diagnosis. A history of the National Tuberculosis Association. Hygiene, disinfectants. Epidemics. Very topical. And we're getting into, looks like, more medical health books and ooh la la romance. Oh, People's Home Library. I like that one. Better check the price on that one. 50 bucks, not bad. That's a good one. No Stradamus. Let's see, we've got psychology. Oh, astronomy. I wanted to check out the astronomy section. See what we can find over here. Then there's the psychology section. I should check uh check out the psychology section. Oh, poultry. Chemistry and science. Like World War One and Two history, more military history, automobile mechanics, uh, mechanical type stuff, physics, engineering. Selection of uh, lakeside classics, even some of the old ones. All right, check it out sci fi, sci fi, sci fi. Oh, automotive. Aviation, cruise ships, merchant ships, boats, movies. Literary studies. Every author biography you'd ever want. Oh, we got some Stuart Edward White. Looks like lots of them. 
general biographies, general biographies. Oh, we got Napoleon. There we go, let there be light. Uh, up here, they have some really cool sci-fi and pulp magazines. More sci-fi and fancy. Don't know if you can tell, but this is a massive building. Oh, we got some Albert Hubbard.